Hello everyone. Today, I, Kiran Purohit, a PhD student of IIT Kharagpur, is going to give a presentation on the topic Accurate and Efficient Channel Pruning via Orthogonal Matching Pursuit. My co-authors are Anurag Shomi Das and Professor Shorangshu Bhattacharya. These are the topics that I will be covering in my presentation. Let us first discuss why filter pruning is important. Filter pruning is beneficial for reducing the burden of CNNs. The benefits include reducing the storage of model, which has millions of parameters, the hundreds of megabytes of memory footprint, and billion flops to accelerate the performance. Network pruning is one of the fields of network compression. Given a pre-trained network, the goal of network pruning is to compress the network while maintaining the high performance. It usually removes all the redundant parameters or computations as shown in figure. There are generally two types in this field, which are weight pruning and filter pruning. First, Weight pruning or node pruning is a traditional way which was applied to early DNN. It checks the importance of single weight or node. Since it removes only a single node, it could not lead to practical acceleration over the standard CNN. Second, the filter or channel pruning removes the entire filter or channel. The filter pruning techniques are more preferred nowadays because of the structural and practical advantages. In this study, we also adopted filter pruning for its benefits. We will introduce about few previous work which, were, which are related to our work. The first one is Thenet, which is presented in ICCV 2017. This one is of early channel pruning work. It removes each channel one by one and record the output feature map difference at each step. After that, it selects the channel with the lowest difference. It is very straightforward way of checking redundant channel. However, it is layer-wise pruning, which is not optimum and computationally not efficient since it is a greedy way of selecting channel. The second one is FPGM, which is presented in CVPR 2019. Traditionally, the filter weight with small norm was regarded as less important filter. FPGM introduces a new perspective that median norm filter is less important. It achieves good performance. However, the specific theoretical background of how it works well is not sufficient. The third one is LFPC, which is presented in CVPR 2020. Existing methods usually utilize predefined pruning criteria, such as LP norm, to prune unimportant filters. There are two major limitations to these methods. First, previous methods fail to consider the variety of filter distributions across layers. To extract features of the coarser level to the final level, the filters of different layer layers have various distributions. Therefore, it is not suitable to utilize the same pruning criteria to different layers. Second, previous layer by layer pruning methods process each layer independently and sequentially, failing to consider that all the layers in the network collaboratively make the final prediction. Hence, LFPC proposed their method to solve these problems. They adaptively selects the appropriate pruning criteria for different functional layers. The fourth one is LRF, which is presented in AAAI 21. It is a channel pruning method which suggests that a filter can be approximated by the linear combination of other filters is replaceable. In a layer, there are n independent filters. Each filter has the same dimension. Therefore, each filter can be approximated as a linear combination of other filters as given in equation one. Here the lambdas are constant and epsilons are the approximation error, which has the same dimension as filter F. Each lambda is determined to minimize the value of epsilon. Therefore, optimization problem given in equation two is solved. 
Now each filter is expressed as a linear combination of other filters. And there are corresponding approximation error epsilon 1 to epsilon n. Then LRF chooses the ith filter with the smallest epsilon to prune. Whenever filter is pruned, filter and its connections are removed. Limitations of LRF. The filter with minimum approximation error is pruned in case of LRF. However, for pruning beta fraction of filters in a layer, one needs to prune beta of total number of filters in that layer. The network is fine-tuned after each removal of a filter. Hence, the LRF method is both slow and suboptimal. For speeding up the pruning method, we have come with an algorithm that prunes the filters of a layer for a given fraction all at once. Motivated by the fact that the development of deeper and wider convolutional neural networks has led to improved performance in computer vision and the image processing task but they come with added overhead of increased size and are computationally intensive. This prohibits them from being used in mobile platforms or other systems with less amount of resources. Hence, we use filter pruning for compression and acceleration of the model. In the further slides, we will discuss about the state of the art methods in the filter pruning and our motivation for building on it. Let us discuss the problem definition. To use filter pruning to decrease the number of parameters, thereby reducing the model size and the number of computations to develop filter pruning OMP, FPOMP, which uses sparse approximation in the process of pruning. To propose FPOMP search, which does non-uniform pruning of layers to find the most optimum model for a given target size. Our contributions is as follows. Identifying multiple channels for pruning, weight compensation for multiple channel pruning, and optimal filter search. Identifying multiple channels for pruning. We develop our algorithm for pruning multiple channels together. We develop an orthogonal matching pursuit OMP based algorithm for filter pruning. Filter pruning OMP, FPOMP addresses the limitations of LRF. Starting from equation two, we arrive at our formulation for sparse approximation as given in equation three. Here, S is the set of selected or retained filters of layer L. NC is the total number of filter in layer C and beta is the pruning fraction of filters in layer C. We can approximate the prune filters in terms of retained filters. Therefore, we can rewrite the above equation as given in equation 4. FPOMP selects filters that are to be retained into a set S from a layer L. We can hence obtain filters that are to be pruned from set 1 to N except the filters in set S. We have developed a faster algorithm FPOMP compared to LRF. In FPOMP, we use OMP, which is a sparse approximation algorithm, which is faster than the matrix computation approach used in LRF. We also find multiple filters for pruning at once using OMP, which also helps in making FPOMP faster compared to LRF. Let us first understand how weight compensation works. Before we start pruning, we add one cross one convolution layer at both top and bottom as shown in orange block in the figure. In this step, the one cross one convolution layer is said to have the same number of input and output channels to keep the network structure. The weight of this convolution is initialized as identity to keep the output of the original network. When we prune a filter, we modify the weight value of one cross one convolution layer to appropriate value. Then the loss change can be further reduced. Weight compensation for multiple channel pruning. 
Weight compensation is a method proposed in the LRF paper for a single filter pruning. After removing filters from a layer, we update the weights of one cross one convolution to reduce the difference between the output feature map of the pruned and the unpruned model. This addition of one cross one convolution enables us to prune any network regardless of the architecture. We have derived the formula for weight compensation when it is performed on multiple channels at a time. Optimal filter search. LRF is a suboptimal algorithm as it reduces the same fraction of filters from each layer. To find the optimal set of filters, we perform non-uniform pruning on the model. FPOMP search prunes a batch of filters from each layer, followed by assessing the performance of the model in the prune stage, and then putting back the removed filters. We keep a running record of the performance metric, that is accuracy, across all the layers. Filters from a particular layer on removing, which gives the maximum accuracy compared to removing filters from other layers, are finally pruned from the network. This continues till we achieve the pruning criteria. Let us come to the experiment section. The architectures which we used in our experiments are ResNet32, ResNet34, ResNet56. We perform one epoch of fine tuning after each iteration of pruning and 300 epochs of fine tuning after completion of pruning. We compared the performance of our method with other state-of-the-art methods through the performance metrics such as pruned accuracy, accuracy drop, parameters drop, flops drop, total time taken for pruning, and fine-tuning. The data sets used are CIFAR 10, CIFAR 100, and Tiny ImageNet. We have compared the performance of FPOMP and FPOMP search against the state-of-the-art methods for ResNet32 and ResNet56 on CIFAR10 for 50% pruned filters of the network. We can clearly see that FPOMP and FPOMP search outperform other pruning methods. They no, not only increase the accuracy, but the drop in params and flops is equivalent or more compared to other methods. FPOMP and FPOMP search again outperform LRF in terms of pruned accuracy. The params and the flops drops in FPOMP search is less compared to other methods because when it does non-uniform pruning, it removes more number of filters from initial layers, which have lower number of parameters. In table two, the accuracy is increasing after pruning for FPOMP and FPOMP search. This increase is more compared to LRF which means that the methods we proposed are better at finding more replaceable filters. In table three, the accuracy falls for LRF, but it is increasing in the case of FPOMP and FPOMP search, which signifies better performance. Here, we can see the comparison of the time taken by different methods. We can clearly see that all the methods take comparable amount of time for fine tuning, but FPOMP is faster in pruning while FPOMP search is very slow compared to other methods to finish pruning. This gives us chance to define better non-uniform pruning algorithms, which can help in improving the performance so that it can run as fast as uniform pruning algorithms. Here, we can see the filter pruning pattern of OMP search. We can see from the distribution that most of the filters have been removed from block one, relatively less from block two, and least amount from block three. Since final level features are extracted in the first layers and the coarser level features in the last layers, this may signify that we don't need as many filters to extract final level features as we think we do. We can observe visually that the feature map of layer four in the top figure has diverse set of uh, filter outputs that indicates its usefulness in capturing different features of the input. Our proposed method FPOMP search prunes only 31.25% of, of its filters. See previous table. 
thus retaining around 68.75%. Similarly, below figure shows the feature map outputs from layer 10 that looks very similar, thus denoting its redundancy in filter outputs. We can observe the same in previous table that layer 10 has 93.75% of its filters removed, thus retaining only 6.25%. Thus, we can conclude that the pruning percentages yielded from FPOMP search correlate with the amount of information held by each filter in each layer. In conclusion, we proposed FPOMP and FPOMP search algorithms a fresh and efficient channel pruning technique. It is a pruning criteria that chooses the channel using a sparse approximation method. It shows good performance regardless of kernel size, block type, or even architectures. Extensive experiments on the three datasets with two different architectures prove our hypothesis. These are the references used in the paper. Thank you for your kind attention. I'm open to questions.